So here are three ways to make your SR journey a lot more exciting. Okay, because a lot of times, bro, when we be we wake up, we got to deal with life, we got to deal with bills, we got to deal with traffic, we got to deal with our girl, got to deal with deal with we got to deal with our emotional um ups and downs too because I ain't going to lie, not only women be having emotional ups and downs, we be having that shit too, but men we just show it differently, you feel me? But nonetheless, bro, life be stressful sometimes. Why should we stress ourselves out more or be like, oh man, be on this journey and 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 no watching this and then don't do that. And I mean, of course, yeah, you have to enforce some type of level of uh, self-control in order to be on the retention journey. But a lot of people, sometimes they get too serious and they don't ever like find the joy, find the beauty in the in the journey. And that's what we have to do. OK, so here are, here are one of the three ways you can make your journey a little bit more exciting. This is what I do. And if you got something different, let me know in the comment section, of course. Number one, bro, this is your journey. Move at your pace. Stop comparing yourself to the next man. If you are trying to be strategic about it, yes, you can look at the next man as far as like, okay, they're, they're on their journey. This is how they are handling theirs and shit. You feel me? They're going through whatever. It's cool to like learn from different people from time to time. But once it gets to a point of you like saying like, man, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm envying this person. Like how, how he's, how's he doing this on this journey and he's experiencing the female attraction and he's experiencing all this money and shit ain't happening for me. See, that's where you, that's where we messing up at, bro. You feel me? When I first started this shit, I remember I used to like, I look up different videos of, 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 um, talking about semen retention. I forgot the name of these dudes, bro. But it's just some, I know it's a, it's a channel and it's like three black dudes, like all like buff as hell. I'm talking about them niggas big as fuck, like Debo times, you know, whatever. Niggas big as hell. And apparently they literally talk about the same thing that I talk about, semen retention. They got like a million subscribers and everything. You feel me? Um, there was a point in time where I'm just looking at it like, damn, that's what semen retention is all about. Like, damn, I got to be big and buff and I got to be doing this and doing that. And I realized I'm like, yo, that's day journey. You know what I'm saying? And then at the time when I first uh, was learning about it, I wasn't trying to do what the fuck them niggas was doing. Y'all niggas talking about go 30 days, 60 days. Are you are you crazy? That shit sound wild. I was like, you know what? Y'all, I, I get it. A lot of people might be too extreme for me at this level, but I realized that this is my journey. I move at my pace. I don't when you're when you're ready to be on the journey, it's just, it'll organically happen. If you have to force yourself to do it, then you're not gonna have fun doing it. I'm not, I'm telling you right now. So move at your own pace. Hold on, let me put this on silent because I know people are saying um I'm definitely moving at my own pace, man. F that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and and then you'll be surprised at how like you start to see the beauty in the in uh in your own personal journey. Because you might have to go two two months without dealing with female attraction. Sometimes people will start retention and within the first week they experience female attraction. You feel me? It's different. It varies for everybody. So make sure organically. Uh, make sure it happens organically and make sure you're not forcing yourself to do shit. There's a difference between forcing and disciplining yourself. The forcing is like you're just kind of blindly doing some shit just because you know you have to do it. But disciplining yourself is understanding why you're doing it and understanding how you can avoid uh, getting into like um, getting into a situation where you're in a hole you feel me? And now you have to try to find your way out. Um, but for the most part, again, everybody has, everybody's journey is different. It's going to be unique. And remember, it's yours. Move at your own pace. Don't worry about what I'm doing, what Nana the Soul is doing, what TC Talks is doing, what uh, Domo Speaks doing. You don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about us, bro. I mean, yeah, if you guys want some insight on the journey, of course, you could definitely uh, check out one of the YouTube channels, you feel me? But you will actually enjoy 
being on retention when you know that you want to do this and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you just continuing it. It's going to be tough at times, but it's something that you would naturally want, would have to do. Okay. The second thing that's going to, um, the, se the second thing that's going to make, of course, I got my notes here. The second thing that's going to make your SR journey a little bit more exciting is utilizing your emotional intelligence. Now, after like two or three weeks of being on retention, um, you're going to go through a point of time where you're going to get extremely mad, extremely happy, extremely sad. Pretty much all your feelings are going to be to the extreme because you're new. You feel me? You... You have this new life force energy. You don't even know what the fuck to do with it. So what's going to happen is when you are experiencing any type of emotion, you understand that each emotion can be a little bit extreme. But what you should do is exercise your emotional intelligence. And when you exercise your emotional intelligence, that means, number one, you aren't doing too many sexual activities. Um, granted, if you are actually in love and you're trying to like form, uh, like, you know, form a whole crew or troop, if you're trying to get some, some babies in, into this realm of reality, that's totally different because that's a different type of energy that you're mixing with. You feel me? And you vibe with this woman, like for most of the time. But if you're like single and you're trying to get your life together and all that shit, bro, um, when you're on a retention journey, of course, you're going to get the female attraction. And sometimes... When you have the female attraction, that's when you should be learning. That's when you should take advantage of the times, the little interactions when you're talking to a woman and utilize your emotional intelligence. You feel me? Give off a good vibration. Have a good conversation. Don't let it be small talk. You know, um, this is one way that you can make your SR journey a little bit more fun. If you want to, you can go to the mall. I remember this one kid that used to follow my channel. I don't know if he still do, but the nigga got weird as hell because nigga started spamming my shit, blowing up my phone and shit. See, that's why I don't be trying to give out my information like that. This shit would get a little bit weird. But I remember he was cool and he was telling me like, oh, yeah, man, I'm on retention. Dog, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go to the, go to the uh, mall. I'm gonna see how much girls I could uh, grab. And that's what he did. He, I mean, now mind you, I wouldn't even, I personally wouldn't suggest to do that. Uh, it just depends on what kind of, what time, what, what time of, uh, what era in life you in, as far as like, if you still high school, college, and you trying to quote unquote, be young and have fun. Yeah. I mean, that's a good time to do it. Go to the mall to see, see where your confidence level is at and see if you have the emotional intelligence to recognize when it's a, de a decent time to talk to a female and when it's not. Like you can set up certain things and then just try it out. Now, what I'm saying is don't purposely try to piss people off. And then now you're now you have to show your emotional intelligence. And sometimes when you're in a heated situation, like with the one that I was in a few days ago, that's technically that's not high vibrational. Technically, technically, I kind of let that person get the best of me type shit. So even when dog, I've been on this journey for what, three and a half years and even now, I still have times where, you know, I'm exercising my emotional intelligence. And then sometimes I get in my feelings because motherfuckers either are attacking me, saying something or, you know. So just utilizing that energy, though, utilizing it every single day, I feel like that will keep you on your retention journey. Because um, a lot of every there's a lot of things that have to do with emotions and shit. You feel me? Um, people make lifelong decisions based off of how they feel emotionally. And sometimes that can last for the rest of their life. So with that being said, um, whenever you do feel like a quote unquote time where you're feeling down while you're on the journey, continue the positive self-talk to yourself. Continue to talk to, uh, continue the conversation with the most high. You feel me? Uh, you lot like dead ass, dead ass serious, bro. It'll literally make your um, retention journey a lot more exciting because now you have something to look forward to even when you're in this beautiful fucked up sideways ass matrix. The third thing that you should you should do or yeah, the third the third way to make your SR journey a lot more exciting, bro, 
Reward yourself, man. Reward yourself and enjoy life. Go out. Especially if you know you've been doing the shadow work. You know you've been, you know what I'm saying, working on yourself. You know you've been working out. Bro, don't be scared. If a female like you, talk to her. You know what I'm saying? If she like you, if, she, if she's a decent woman, talk to her. You know, experience life. Enjoy life. Reward yourself. You feel me? Go out to the, like, one way, one way you can reward yourself, bro. Take yourself out. Hey, if you take yourself out to eat, don't, don't take yourself out. Take yourself out to eat. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but, like, what I realized is that, especially if you're a single guy, bro, you know you're actually in a relationship with yourself. Like, pause. Like, but you're actually in a relationship with yourself. You have to make sure that you are good. You got to make sure you can still have fun, enjoy life, go out to eat, go to um, go to places where, you know, people are at where y'all are like minded. You know what I'm saying? You're not at no love vibrational um, place or anything like that. You feel me? Um, and when you do that and when you because, again, you become a little spontaneous, too. So believe it or not, if you are uh, have the right mindset, um moving at your own pace, you know what I'm saying? Utilizing your emotional intelligence, bro. I feel like every single day when you wake up and you step out the door, you'll have some type of fun. You're going to enjoy yourself. You will reward yourself based on what the what the matrix gives you. And then like, okay, if you really have time to yourself, definitely go out and have a good time. Definitely go out and have a good time. Um, you know, go hiking. Start doing little shit like that, bro. You'll be surprised. Just going out and, and experiencing the uh, mother nature, bro. So while you're on this journey, it don't feel like, oh, I can't do nothing. Like, nah, you got to make this shit lit, bro. You got to make this shit lit, bro. I got some more uh, I got some more advice that I, that I want to definitely give out. But I'm probably going to save it for, you know, the next video or the next live. Um, shout out to anybody that went to the, uh, that joined the live yesterday. From now on. I will be going live every Sunday. Um, more than likely, I want to say Sunday sometime after 5. Yeah, probably like, yeah, sun, Sunday after 5. That's when I'll start to go live. Um, it was dope. And it's just certain things that you could do. Dog. Also, you can talk to different people who might be on a similar path, similar journey. Um, and if you need to, sometimes guys need a vent. Um, but make sure you're venting with a like-minded individual. One of the things I like to do is when I run into like a female who's woke or whatnot, um, you know, I'm in like networking mode, you feel me? And I automatically want to give good positive energy out to, you know, whoever, whoever's on that frequency. And I'm, I'm telling you, bro, once you can talk to a woman and a woman actually understands your retention journey, understands what it's all about, that that's dope as hell, especially if she respects you and she ain't going to try you like that. You feel me? Some women that be in the matrix, they can't handle that loud pack. You feel me? Um, But yes, it's going to be out there. So make sure, bro, you doing what you got to do. I ain't trying to fuck with no dang on zombies. Bots. Trash. You feel me? I can't. I can't do it. It's just not the them niggas be with the whoops. And then you have to hit them with the WAP. It hit different. It hit different when you put your own sauce on it. Do your homework on your own sauce. Putting your own sauce on your own journey. It hit different. Everything going to be everything gonna be to your liking. And even when there's something that's made, you know, that's a little sideways, you still will be able to handle it, bro. Because at the end of the day, you have to have fun, period. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about having fun. We have to be disciplined. But, nigga, we got to enjoy ourselves, nigga. Oh, God. It hit different. But, yeah, I'm late as fuck for work. I don't give a fuck. They tried my ass the other day. So, I'm telling you, bro. I'm about, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass about to be doing this shit full time. No cap. No cap. It's been a year since I've been in, been in the A. Time is moving fast as fuck, bro. Fast as hell. So, I'm going to definitely get into this and do what I got to do. MGT, what to do? It's your boy, Moody Star. And I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up 
sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy. Go within and being high vibrational. Here at AMGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Yeah, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video, bro. Just do what we got to do. Drink your water. Stay up. Do what you got to do. And yeah, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. I'm going to definitely take my sip. I don't have it on me and shit, so y'all going to take my word for it. But like, I do be drinking that coconut water, of course. It's going to be in my smoothie. So shout out to everybody. Whatever day you want, day 30, day 96, day 109. You know, keep keep grinding. Make this shit fun, bro. Dead ass. Make this shit fun. Don't, don't beat yourself up if you happen to fail. You know, get back up. It's life. The fact that you're already on this journey is cool. You feel me? You're doing way better than most of these niggas out here. So yeah, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.